So we're bringing you something a little bit different today to the channel. Mm. That crunch just makes any mm -hmm. sandwich better. You don't know how old you are? <laughs> I gotta check your paper. <laughs> City, New Jersey. Well, welcome back to another video. We got a beautiful day out here in dirty Jersey. Blue skies, clear skies. So we're bringing you something a little bit different today to the channel. Um, something I, I want to start doing more of. Um, we're gonna start involving food more around with the rides and everything. Um, so today we're gonna be taking you guys to what is known to be one of the best, if not the best, uh, Cuban sandwich restaurant in all of uh, North Jersey. It's called the El Artesano Restaurant. So initially, we're gonna take you guys to the top three best rated Cubano sandwiches in all the area, but the other two spots are closed today. So we're gonna take you to the best one, at least that one's open. We're gonna give you guys a rating and let you know how good those Cuban sandwiches are there. We have Javi right here in front of us, which is one of my close friends. He's also Cuban. He came from Cuba, so he's gonna tell us a little bit about the food that we're gonna be eating compare it to the Cuban sandwiches he had in Cuba. Tell us a little bit about his history. And then what I'm also gonna do for you guys is give you a little history on Cuba, a little fun facts here and there as well. I think one of our favorite things to do, and when I say us, I'm talking about all riders in general, is I think riding to a destination and finding some great food. Some good food that we can just sit down, connect, learn about culture, um, taste new things, and just excite our taste buds with new food. We're lucky enough to live in this area. Uh, when it comes to North Jersey, when it comes to the tri-state area, New York, this whole area is a big melting pot. So there's restaurants, there's food from all over the world, literally. that That's probably one of the main reasons why I love living in this area and why I don't see myself ever leaving from anywhere around this area is because it's it's a melting pot so you can eat something every day from a different country for the next few months if you really wanted to what we're going to right now is union city so union city is heavily heavily populated with a lot of latinos from all over latin america and all over the caribbean when it comes to the Latin community and food, it's 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 great, man. We all speak the same language, but we all talk differently. We all look different. We dress different, and all the food it may be similar, but it all tastes different. Take a block away. Just one block. One block down. Don't leave your helmet here. I don't know. Really? Fuck no. Crazy. Let's do that shit here, bro. All the guys that ride scooters over here. <laughs> City, New Jersey. Nah, I got Sano. This is what? The, the the best Cuban sandwich restaurant in the whole area? The best one I ha ever had, so yeah. Have you been here? No, I've never been here. I've been to the area. I couldn't tell you where I eat. <laughs> and you probably wouldn't go there if I told you. <laughs> so we're gonna try Javi this time. I'm like 0 for 12. What is it? <laughs> no, I got one good one. <laughs> no, what he told you the, the what? tasteless bud. Tasteless, tasteless buds. bud. <laughs> That's his new name, Tasteless, Tasteless Bud. Bud. Um, have you, you guys have Cuban sandwiches before, right? I have them enough, yeah. Ours is no, I'm saying, but in general, yeah, you have? No, yeah. All right, good. So we, we all know what we're going to be tasting today. Um, like I was mentioning before, we had 
three or four spots picked out, but I don't know why everything is closed on a Sunday. So at least the best one is open, so we can, uh, we can do that. When I go inside right now, I'm gonna try it. We're not gonna let this guy judge it. Look, <laughs> you know for a fact he doesn't check the locations prior because he's very organic. <laughs> <laughs> you were saying that you've never been here before on the inside because what, you usually pick it up from the window? Yeah, I'll go to the window, order. There's a window right here? Oh, so you can just order and, and just leave right away? You gotta let everybody know what these are right here. Oh, churros. All right, so these, uh, these are churros, right? Yeah. These are filled with what? There's leches in there? Dulce leche. Dulce leche. Never had those, I would have this. Take them, bro. That's why I got You can't fuck this up. Let's go. They all came on this side. It's pretty good. It's mad, A little hard though, I'm sorry. Yeah. My, mom, my mom makes it really good. Your mom makes it at home? You don't have any one? Your mom makes it? I'll go peanut tacos next time. She has the old school machine. Do you know what it is with this? They're not. Because the Mexican ones are bigger, so they feel mm -hmm. hollow. These doesn't, don't feel like it. Mm -hmm. That looks really, really good. Mm. Gracias. Gracias. Okay, Javi, so really quick for everybody. What's in a Cubano sandwich? Traditionally. Well, well traditionally. tell us what's in this one, and then traditionally, how do they make it back in, in Cuba? Because well, I know it's a bit they different. have uh, mayo, uh, mustard, Pickles, pork, and ham. Pork and ham. Yeah. And cheese? Oh yeah, cheese. They put cheese. That's right. Okay. And then they, they what is it? They flatten they, down the sandwich? They supposed to put butter on both sides on the outside. Put it on the what is it, flat bread? Yeah. Put it in the presser and then you just the outside should be really toast, but it's actually so it's, it's supposed to be toasted in there? Yeah. Well, no, it's not supposed to be like It's supposed to be like that. Okay. Yeah, it's supposed to be hard? Yeah. Okay. So yeah. Back, back in Cuba, uh, so the what's the I difference? When I was in Cuba, the difference is uh, that we didn't have pork. It's just ham, mayo, mustard, uh, and pickles. And cheese? Okay. And no cheese. No, no cheese, cheese either, no. So they, they don't choose to put it or they just... It's just, I guess, they don't have, have it. it. They don't have the pork. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. You're the Cuban guy, so I guess you, you get the first, the first bite here. Bite. After that one. Shit, I already took the half by half. God damn it, it, LD. What happened? Go, go through all the flavors. It's, it's a lot of thick in, a lot of flavors. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of thick in. Yeah. I'm like, already halfway done. So when you buy it, the first thing you taste is the mustard and the mayo and then it hits the pickle and that makes like the pork and the ham like everything comes together mm. like I, I love the way you put that yeah but you see i'm a should be a food all right peanut I, i'm gonna go last because we all know tasteless my, my taste tasteless buds. buds i don't know if i'm gonna taste anything here Yours is real cheesy. Yeah. So, I had a different bite there. I think um, I got the pickle first. Because the pickle has a stronger taste. And then after the mustard hit, and then slowly you start tasting the um, the pork and the ham together. Just, and I don't even like pickles. I don't eat pickles on anything, but on a Cuban, you have to have it. Yeah, I'm, I'm very particular on what I have pickles on. Yeah, yeah. Me too. That's why I don't get pickles. 
So you, you don't like pickles, so yours didn't have it. No, nah, but it, it's still pretty good though. I'm already almost <laughs> ready to finish this shit. I ain't, I ain't waiting for y'all. Nah, but it's really good though. Um, um, I, I, they put a lot of butter on it though. The butter? Yeah. It's nice and shiny. See, like this too, it's good. I guess I'll uh, right. put my little Cuban flag over here, man. Let's see. Mmm. You for me? I got a big bite of the ham and the pork mix together. Then I have the aftertaste of the pickle and the mustard. It's like an aftertaste of it. I love the bread because it's toasty. Mm. That crunch just makes any, mm -hmm. any sandwich better. Right? You could just be bread and butter, but you have that crunch. This is good. This is so good. Wow. It's official tissue. Well, we're going to have to rate it. We'll leave it rating towards the end. But oh, this is amazing. Mm. That's why I couldn't wait. <laughs> this, That's it. I'm actually, I'll be honest. I'm pretty speechless because I didn't think it was going to be that good. I've mm had -hmm. Cuban sandwiches. The best Cuban sandwich I've ever mm, had. That's mine. Honestly. Was in Miami. Mm -hmm. um, it was a little restaurant, a little hole in the wall. I think it was right off Collins. And the food there is amazing. All the Cuban food there is amazing. The Cubanos there are, are really good too. And that was probably one of my favorite sandwiches ever. But this pizza. Mm -hmm. This is good. Cuba and the Bay of Pigs. JFK, wait, 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 we're not going to get so deep into this. Cuba is located in the Caribbean and the language Cubans speak is Spanish. Originally inhabited by the Guanajatabeyes, the Sibones, and then the Tainos. Until Christopher Columbus came in 1492 and we all know what happened after that. Havana is the country's capital and largest city. The number one sport in the country is baseball. They are also known for their music, famously Mambo and the Cha Cha. Cuba is still a communist country and one of the only communist countries left in the world. Cuba is known and famous for its cigars and has some of the best quality and expensive cigars around the whole world, originally grown by the Dainos. Now, here's a Fun fact, Cuba is one of the countries with the most doctors in the world and often send help to other countries in need. Cuba is also known for an infamous dictator in history, Fidel Castro, who ran the country for over 47 years, allied himself and Cuba with the Soviet Union. We all know how that turned out. His brother Raul now has full control of the country to this day. Cuba has two currencies, both being the Cuban peso. It's weird and political, so we'll leave it at that. These are some fun facts I thought you guys would like to know in case you didn't know. We'll get back to the rest of the video now. I got it. I got to do it. I got to do the Dominican twist on the Cuban sandwich. Platano Maduro. You add it on? So are you going to just rob from other people's culture and make it your own? Oh, Spanish? Bro. I have to, bro. Watch this. Hey, isn't that what your people did? <laughs> You're welcome. Look, look, you have all this delicious food now. You're welcome. Boss. Mm -hmm. That's, that's actually not a bad idea. Yo. Good? I'm, I'm the man, bro. <laughs> I'm opening my own restaurant. That's it. Yo, try it. Try it. Have you know what it is about Cuban sandwiches, right. too? I think, like, when you go look for a perfect sandwich, you're looking for a lot of, a lot of specialty Things. stuff, like steak. And the Cuban sandwich is so simple. I think that's what makes it good. Yeah. You know, you could tell us there's not a lot of ingredients and not a lot of choices in Cuba when it comes to making sandwiches. Yeah. So they took what they had and made it as good as they could. When you look at it, it's, just, it's, it's, it's not simple. much in there. No. Just, you gotta like make some pork, some ham, cheese, mm -hmm. mayo, and a little bit of mustard and pickles. And that's it. You don't really need a lot of stuff to make a Cuban sandwich. Yeah. How old were you when you came over here from Cuba? Uh, I was 11. How old are you now? 27. Uh, so about to be 27, 26. You don't know how old you are? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs>
I gotta check your papers. <laughs> I'm illegal. Are you, are you really Javier or you are Arturo? Elian. <laughs> Elian. Elian Gonzalez? Elian Gonzalez. Were you one of those 16 year olds playing Little League that came yeah. from Cuba? Yeah. <laughs> you got a paper that says I'm 12. <laughs> Wait, so why, why, why did you uh, move from Cuba over here? Uh, uh, better, better life. I mean, I can't complain about the way I was living over there because I was a kid, so I had a lot of fun with my friends. But I mean, in the long run, it was better to be here than being over there. There's more opportunities over here than over there. Are you, because I know Cuba's still a communist country, are you still allowed to go back or no? Yeah, I can go back. Yeah, I used to renew my Cuban passport. Okay. Just, I'm a Cuban citizen, so I need a Cuban passport to go back. Even though I have an American passport. Gotcha. So what, what 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 is it? Is there a, if you could pick out three things that, that that you like the most about Cuba, or three things that you miss the most? Means the most food. You can cook the same stuff over here, but it's not the same thing. It's the, the spices are different. It's just yeah. The flavor from the like food over there is completely different than the food over here. I have when I just go home, I can just go on the street and play baseball in the streets. We can do that here. You don't play baseball here in the streets. You get hit by a car. No, we used to. We used to play wiffle ball. Yeah, but it's not the same because they, like, you go to the street and like, even if you didn't know anybody, they want to be yo, you want to play with us? Yeah, you go to the park and they see you and they don't really like Because I've been to the park before and people like see me and they don't be like, yo, you want to play? Like, they, people are like more united, which is... Yeah, they are like, More open hand. even if you don't know them, yeah, they're just they're cool with you, they're friends with you. I, I think there's just part of, that's more part of the culture. Yep. You know, everybody there wants, we're a little bit more divided here. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just like. Yeah, because when I was young, I was, able, I was able to play with everybody in the street. We used to play wiffle ball and breeze tag and all that crap, yeah. you know, when we was younger, but now it's. Totally different. These used things play, right here. We played in the street the whole time, and it was these things right here messed up everything. Honestly, a lot. Yeah, a lot. It's it's, it's different. Huh? What um, have you gone back since you came back or no? Since you came over? Why not? Anybody else over there? But most of my family is already here. So, why would I go? Why would I go back and visit? It's really bad. I mean, I feel there's no point for me to go over there. See everybody like is suffering here? Like, what's the point of it? Yeah. Huh? I, I think when you came over though, he was more like in an innocent stage of life. He yeah. Was, he was young. Oh, yeah, when I got here. 8, 9, 10, 11. So I think you miss your childhood mm -hmm. more than you miss Cuba. I don't think you understood what Cuba was until you got here. Mm -hmm. And you saw the opportunities that you had here. Now you got to see the difference between, you know, how your parents were treated, how, you know, culture was compared to that. I mean, I will say that when I got here, it was different. Like, cause I, I, I had all my friends over there, and then I got here, and I didn't know anybody, I didn't know anything. She was a little bit hard for me in the beginning, but then I kind of got used to it, so now I'm what, I miss what do you do you would you say that you still get to experience a lot of the Cuban culture here when it comes to like the food and the people and music and everything that has to do with the culture? Not really, like around yeah. here there's not that many Cubans anymore. Not anymore. Yeah, like I heard like in the early two thousand they like, all used to do was like all the Cubans. So this is like, I feel like back then, yeah, if you would have come from Cuba, it would be easier for you to like transition from living over there to living over here because you have a lot of us, but now it's like, there's not that many of us around here. My brother actually, um, he visited Cuba, it was like five years ago. He loved it. He loved it. I mean, as, as a tourist, obviously you're going to yeah, like I'm it. Not, I'm it's not gonna, different. I'm not going to say like, everything is bad over there. Like, if you go to La Habana, it's like really nice. Cause <laughs> you think I'm playing, bro? With the Maduro side? The Maduro side gives it like that sweet, because the thing is that with the Cuban sandwich, there's nothing sweet about it, right? So when you, this little plantain in it, bro, like, it really just like switches like the whole, <laughs> like the whole dynamic of the sandwich. Bro. Wow. I'm telling you, bro, I'll steal you wrong a lot of things, but on food, I'll never steal your one. Me either. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs>
with some five acts about this restaurant. It's been open since 1974, family owned. One of the top five fast Cuban restaurants in all of Union City. And it's ranked number 18 best Cuban restaurant in the country. Which is, that's, that's pretty big. So, and they have New Jersey's best empanada right there as well. Right. <laughs> then we come to the fun part of the video. We need to rate this thing. Just because it's ranked top, 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 doesn't mean it's top. But, first of all, one out of ten. What are you ranking this Cubano sandwich? Ten. You ranking it ten? Yeah, that's bias. That's bias. That's bias. You're Cuban. You're Cuban. That's number one. You're taking the flag home. <laughs> Put it on my bike. Put it on the bike. Yeah, it's nicely chosen. It has all the ingredients. They all like come together. They like complement each other. So it's like, yeah. give it a set. We gotta let the viewers know is how does one through ten work? Are you grading it on? Are you comparing it to other sandwiches? Are you giving it a rating based on just how good it tastes in general? I, the, the one through ten score has a little bit of everything. You're, it's going against other Cuban. foods that you had in the past. So this compared to other Cuban sandwiches I've had. And two, how the actual taste of it is actually really good. You know. I hate ratings. Yeah, but like, look, if you're look, gonna, you're gonna give the reason 10, why I don't like ratings. Ratings are ratings. I'm gonna rate you as a friend right now. Because look, one through one through ten, using basic math, five means average. Which is not a bad score. You're yeah. comparing it to everything that's just as good as everything else. Seven's Five a really is good. barely passing. That's like getting, that's like getting it's a, a 65 It's a score. rating, not a grade. That's 65. It is a grade. <laughs> so to me, I think I think a really good sandwich, this is my, my rating, a really good sandwich should be a seven or eight. If it's life-changing, you've never had experienced anything like that in your life, then I'm going to give it a nine or possibly a 10. So yeah, I think the sandwich is excellent. Uh, I think it's up there with the, the best Cuban sandwiches I've had. Um, but also rating it compared to other foods I've eaten, I can't give it a 10. So I would give it like an 8.5. I think it's a really good score. Yeah. Just in general. That's a good score. Yeah. Me, personally, um, I give it like that, like he said, like maybe like an 8.5, 9. I can't give it a 10 because it's like I've... <laughs> Bobby got mad. <laughs> no, no, you know what it is? Bobby's like, I'm never taking you to another Cuban restaurant yeah, nah. again, bro. Yo, no, you know what it is? Because I've, I've been to Cuba and I've had like the no, sandwiches you, you, there. You want to compare it to the, the one that yeah. I had over there? So if I compare it to the one over there, yeah. I'll give it a eight and a half or a nine. So, so yeah. this, guy, this guy just made a whole yeah. dance. Yeah. <laughs> After I broke, no, no, no. after I broke no, no. everything down into we're a science. Talking about, we're talking about the ones that we no, have no, here no, no. in the state. I said in your life. Yeah. In my life? In your life. Outside of nine. Yeah, eight just, and a half. You know I what, forgot, seven's I a really good score. Huh? Seven is a good score. No, 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 it's too low. No, it's too low. No, because like, I had them before somewhere in other places. And it's not the same, but when I have this one, it just reminds me of like, It reminds you of, back of the ones yeah. that you have. Like, uh, so that's why I give it like that's a That's why, yeah, yeah, okay. Because to you, it's like more like a... It's like a sentimental score. Yeah. Because you, you know, you, they bring you back memories. They bring you back memories. Alright. We'll do this right. Turn roll. Eight. 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 That's a good score. Eight. So I feel like it just could have been a, a bit more cheesier. Huh? Mine didn't have much, that much cheese. Yours was really yeah, cheesy. Was really cheesy yeah. Mine didn't have that much cheese. Yeah. The bread's perfect. It's toasted perfectly. My favorite thing about it. I'm not a big pickle person, but I might have to take it off because I want to eat it to a, a big pickle eater Are person. Are you a small pickle person? <laughs> <laughs> Got him! Got him! <laughs> that was a good one. I thought it went overhead. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> no, I'm not a big, huge pickle lover. God damn it! <laughs> no way you can say it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not really into pickles that much. Uh, but I wasn't gonna take it off. This is in the weekend. Um, the ham is good. The pork is good. Um, I think if we would have had more cheese, you would get an and a, a bit more butter. I would have. I would have got an eight and a half to maybe nine. But it, it's it's really good. I definitely recommend it. Check this stuff out. I'm gonna be linking the description down below if you guys are in the local Jersey area. 
<laughs> it's really good. One question though, before you finish it, with the little, with the plantain. Oh, dude, I, when when we added the plátano maduro in it, <laughs> total different sandwich. It's totally different sandwich. I would, I think I would have given it a ten. <laughs> I swear to God, <laughs> I swear to God, it was so good because it, it added the sweetness, the sweetness, and, and it takes away from the bitterness right, of the pickle. Right, you know? exactly. So it, it's a good. Explosion in your mouth. To the of flavor. We bring the Dominicans to the Cubans, but they try to take your sandwich yeah. and make it theirs. Bro, we we took the, the the thing from the chinos and Mama Juana. We put the the the, the platanos around sushi. around the sushi, Mama sushi, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a Dominican and then, and we put, sushi. And we put the salami, the the, the cheese, you know, the tres golpe, and the um, sushi and the sushi roll. Mm -hmm. Amazing. That was delicious. Probably one of the best Cuban sandwiches I've ever had. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video and the direction that that we took it in. Um, I hope you have learned something new today as well. Like I said before, if you are in the local area, check this spot out. Food's great. Well, the Cubanos are, are really good. I don't know about everything else yet, but I definitely recommend it for the Cuban sandwiches. It's a beautiful day out here. We're going to keep riding now and uh, enjoy the rest of our Sunday, man. If you guys want to see a little bit more content like this with the food and us going to places and rating everything, then uh, let me know what you guys think down below. Drop your comments. I would love to know what you think. Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.